Well, uh, having grown up um, in Sri Lanka, and um, one of the things I've watched Bollywood movies, and um, what was norm in those movies was rape. That is uh, when I, it, it took me, a, you know, over 20 years to recognize that that was wrong, because every movie we watched, there was pretty much a rape scene, the sari being pulled around, the women going around, and then um, it, it, it was condoned, and then you would see the woman committing suicide because there was no other option for her. And this is what we've been fed um, as a normal thing to happen, because once you've been raped, you need to kill yourself because you're not worthy of living and your family wouldn't accept you, and your community wouldn't accept you, despite the fact that they know the perpetrators, even the enemy was your perpetrator, and yet they wouldn't um, accept um, that you've been violated by the enemy, um, you'd rather be dead. And that's one of the things as a female fighter that you constantly faced, because I remember being in battles where the enemy soldiers would constantly chase you once they know there were females in the group, rather than try to shoot at you, because I had often heard, because when we were fighting, it was the Indian peacekeeping forces, and at that time, I heard one of them shout, catch the girl, catch the girl, because you know what will happen then, you'll be raped. And that's one of the reasons why having an AK-47 in your hand and a cyanide capsule around your neck was empowering, because you knew you could kill the enemy or kill yourself, um, and you won't be raped because surviving that was really bad. And a lot of the girls who had been raped in the villages would not, were not accepted by their families. And there was, so they had no other option but either they kill themselves or join a militant group because there they were better accepted and they had nothing to lose because they've lost everything pretty much. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones who, who, who took the risk. They were the suicide bombers, you know, because they could at least do something then with themselves. That empowered them. And I think that is where the, the crisis for me is because like um, Mara as well as Jasmine have said, education is the key. And it's just not the women, because you've got to educate the women to think you're worthy of living regardless what happens to you, it's not your fault. Uh, no matter what anyone says, and you shouldn't um, assess your self-worth by what other people think of you, you should know of yourself and believe in yourself. And yet, and also to educate the families, and, and I think it has to start from a very young age, um, the men as well, because to think, um, you know, that a raped woman's not worthy of living. That's just terrible.